and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. 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 I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Yes, it is. <laughs> Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say, The Lord he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall trust. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand to your right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold, and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the most high of thy habitation, no evil shall befall thee, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. It shall bear thee up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon, you shall trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I'll deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. Now dear God, cover this service with the precious blood of Jesus. And give us your Holy Spirit that we may lift up the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 We'd like everyone to turn your hymn close to page number 147. Anybody have it? Amen. And those of you who care to stand, you may do so. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Tell me what can make me whole again. I said nothing but the blood of Jesus. Sing it, oh precious.
that are your masters according to the flesh with fear and trembling and singleness of your heart as unto Christ not with, with not with eye service as men pleases but as servants of Christ doing the will of God from the heart Amen. with God will with God will do in service as to the Lord and not to men knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth the same shall be, shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be bond or free. Mm -hmm. Rejoice in the Lord always, yeah. and, get, and again I say rejoice. Mm -hmm. Let your moderation be known unto men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, Show your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. I have read Ephesians 6, 5 through 8, and Philippians 4, 4 through 7. May the Lord add a blessing to the reader, doers of his holy word. Amen. 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 Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Let us uh, bow our heads for a word of prayer. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I come as humble as I know how. 
I come first of all with praises on my lips and say thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord for this day. Yes. A day we'll never see again, but we yes. thank you for this day. Yes. I pray, Father God, Lord, you just go with us and stand by us this day, oh God. I ask, Father God, Lord, you bless the service, oh God. Oh Lord, talking about the heart and blood, oh God, the blood of Jesus that cleanses us from all sins. Oh God, the heart, God, that talks about love, oh God. I ask, Lord, you be with us today. Let us have that love, oh God, that abide, oh God, in us, oh God, from you, oh God. I pray, Father God, Lord, you bless this church, oh God. Go with our pastor, oh God, in a special way. Continue, God, to give him a word from on high, God, that he may feed us, oh God. Not that we just be hearers of the word, but doers of the word. Go out and tell somebody about the goodness of Jesus, oh God. I pray, Father God, Lord, not only you bless him, oh God, but bless his wife and his children, oh God. Keep him in your care, Father God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. I pray, God, you bless each and every member of this branch of Zion. I ask God you bless us and give us what we need, God. Not that what we desire, God, but what we will have to be in this fold of Zion, oh God. I pray your anointing spirit fall fresh in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Lord, without your anointing, God, we can't do nothing. No, we need your anointing to fall fresh, God, today, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I ask, Father God, you go with the preacher, God, that's going to bring forth the word today. I ask you touch it from the crown of her head to the soul of her feet, oh God. Give her word, oh God, that God, it may carry us, oh God, not only through the week, but from days and years on, oh God, that you will bring the word back to the remembrance, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I ask, Father God, you go with the sick all over this land and country. I ask you go with the sick in our families. I'm asking a special prayer for Brother David Long today, oh God. I ask you touch his body. Hey, you know what he's going through. You know the situation. But God, we know that you are doctor about all doctors. You heal so many. God, if it's in your will, I pray you touch his body and bring him back in the name of Jesus. I ask, Father God, you go with all the bereaved families, oh God. Loved ones that's gone. We still miss him each and every day, but God, we know you can be a mother for the mother, a father for the father, oh God. You can be a husband for the widowers, oh God. Oh God, I thank you today. You've been mighty good to us. Not that we've been so good. Not that we've been so kind, but your grace, your mercy. Oh, I thank you today, Jesus. I thank you, God, for walking with me, talking with me, oh God. Let me know I'm not alone, but through all things through Christ, lean and depend on Jesus. Oh, God, in the lonely, in the midnight hour, you're right there, oh, God. I ask that you be with us and stand by us. Lord, I thank you, God, for how you just continue to bless and keep us, oh, God. I ask, oh, God, you continue to watch of us all. Keep us in your care, oh, God. I ask, oh, you just forgive us for anything we may have said or done that wasn't pleasing in your sight. Oh, God, I ask that you just let my words and my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in that sight. Oh, Lord, and my Redeemer, I say thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Selection. 
Amen. And then following the selection, we're going to have welcome and our occasion um, by Sister Rachel Spencer. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you. Hallelujah. Mm. Awesome. Been so good. Yes. Yes. So good. Yes. 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 Glad I got Jesus down in my heart. Glad I got Jesus down in my heart. I'm glad I got Jesus down in my heart. see the movement to everybody, you feel it in the way. Mm -hmm. Especially when you come into the house of you know, God, you know, you just feel the spirit and the presence. So I would hope that you have felt that from us. We are a church that care about everybody, you know, like a family, and we look forward to them as uh, sisters and brothers and children. And all right. <laughs> so we're welcome you and uh, ready to receive the word. They will always enrich us. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So, so at this time I would like to talk about the education of the women's ministry. Mm -hmm. The women's ministry of the uh, one that started has gone on in the, to her home. And we still remember her. That was in the, you know, 
at the year, early years, and under the teacher, under the new the leadership of Sister Fat Davis, things just keep rolling, That's right. and we are blessed. You know, Amen. Amen. When they, are, when they are sick and have other needs, and it goes without any broadcasting about it, and we're talking about the blood and strokes and uh, what it can do in the mm -hmm. heart. And I can say personally, for me, <clears throat> I've been through it. Uh, I love the women's ministry. We, we uh, contact each other and we need and I have been uplifted. Um, what happened with me is that uh, I had not joined the women's ministry, but my husband had gotten sick and he had strokes. He had a many one, they call them TIAs, mm -hmm. and the surgeon had told us that, told us that he could have another one at any time, even said, you know, it could be the size of a, the blood clot, I mean, uh, could be like the size of a, a pinhead. Mm -hmm. And he got, a, he recovered from that, and for about 18 months, and then he had another one. Mm -hmm. And he had to be that time he had, you know, it was worse. And he was um, in the rehab for seven years. Mm -hmm. Seven years. Mm -hmm. I was there, the members came to see him. They came the same. And the thing about it is that, um, you know, we was there, the family was there, but you know, seven years is a long time. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you're working and mm -hmm. you're trying to keep things straight. But I thank God because he kept him, and um, I always remember that after seven years, after seven is a beginning. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Because right. I couldn't give it all to the women's ministry, but after he had deceased, then I joined the women's ministry where I could give it my best. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and they, so, but, um, you know, God has been good to me yeah. and kept me through it, uh, through everything. But, uh, you know, and I thank everybody. But uh, it is something um, that you really, like you're talking about the blood, but strokes is something that uh, <clears throat> what I did in learning from that uh, certain thing that I stopped eating and even with sugar. <laughs> he, you know, being a diabetic and everything that he was uh, using, uh, Sugar substitute. And the funny thing is, I never went back to sugar. I still do that. But anyway, I really thank you all for your time. I didn't know I was going to say all of that. Amen. But, uh, Amen. God has been good to me, and I felt it in uh, the service. But uh, He took me through it, and I got through. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. February. February is American Heart Month. Amen? Amen. American Heart Month. And what um, Sister Rachel was sharing was that it affects all of us personally. Amen? Somewhere, somehow, heart attack, strokes, um, it, the um, diabetes, it affects us. And women more so than men. And the number of women that are suffering through heart disease is increasingly growing. Mm -hmm. Our purpose today is to make you aware yes. of these things and so that you can start doing something about it. So you have in your little bags the gas of all of us members, we already have it, but information on strokes information on heart disease, information on exercising, amen, information on eating right, information because we don't want the number to continue to grow because of ignorance, amen. So that's what February is about. February is about making people aware, and I include the men, amen, because men suffer from heart disease, strokes, diabetes, all of those things that can lead to the blood being contaminated where it will affect your health. Amen. So we here at New Rehoboth Baptist Church, yes, we are talking about the women, but I include the men as well. We want you to be aware. We want you to take note. And then next month, next year, February, 
we, the numbers we can see become a little less because we've done our part in making you aware of what to do to take care of your heart. Yeah. Now, I can go into a sermon, amen, <laughs> about how the blood still works. Yeah. Yeah. And that the heart pumps the blood. Yes, yes. But I'm not going to do that. <laughs> amen. <laughs> I'm going to let our preacher um, do that. So if you have the power to take action, to protect yourself against heart disease, do so. Small heart healthy actions, like adding more movement to your day, choosing healthier foods, and um, the women here, um, they laugh at me because today we offer a heart smart meal. Amen? I won't let them do mac and cheese. I won't let them do all of those things are high in fat, but today, you're going to get a heart smart meal. Amen? So eating, choosing healthy foods can have a big impact on protecting hashtag our hearts. Amen. Amen. So young folks know about the hashtag, right? Amen. Hashtag our heart. Reduce the stress in your life by giving it all to God. Amen. Amen. He's waiting to hear from you. So thank you, um, Sister Rachel, um, for our occasion. Now we're going to have Sister Millicent um, come up and introduce our preacher. We'll have a selection and then will come the word. Now, I have to go before um, Sister Millicent because in all of my no information, I had Reverend Michael Pearson as the pastor of the church. And I understand it's Lee yes. pastor. Okay, so um, I stand corrected for all of those who saw all of my communication. Um, Sister, uh, uh, Minister um, Judy Pearson is coming from St. John Baptist Church where the pastor is Reverend Lee Pearson. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. Sister Nelson. It's in my heart a melody of love divine. It's in my heart I am his and he is mine. It's in my heart I can't do but want to scream and sing and shout. Some of us put cargo on, we don't need to need on. 
She's going to help you put on what you did. Because I was listening to uh, Sister Barnes when she was talking about Ephesians. And I'm going to move on down to Ephesians 6 and 11. What does it say? Put on your whole So I thank God. I thank God because it is in my heart. Yeah. It's in my heart. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. please just say, preach. 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 Let the Lord use you. Yeah. Don't yeah. stop. Don't worry. If you're touching my toes, kick it out. Just let him use you. Yeah. Lord, and when we leave out here, we are encouraged. Oh, yeah. we got the hope, the joy, the love. Yeah. Oh, that God is sent through you. Oh, yeah. Jesus yeah. name. God yeah. bless. Yeah. Amen. 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 To God be all the glory. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Um, you know, uh, uh, if serving God meant that you had to be serious all the time, oh. I'd be in trouble. Because <laughs> I noticed something when Sister Davis was talking. When she said, we're going to have a hot, healthy meal. I heard one single clap. <laughs> when she said no macaroni and cheese, people went to looking around. <laughs> you no macaroni and cheese. No macaroni and cheese. <laughs> so, to God be all the glory. It's in my heart. I don't know what's waiting on me in the future. I just don't know. Now I don't know what I will be doing ten years from now. I don't know, but I believe, I believe that I'll be singing and teaching God's holy word. Oh, it's in my heart. It's in my heart. Oh, 
singing all the time and you leave your family. It's in my heart. You know what I told them? It's in my heart. I love my family. It's in my heart. And my family know I love Jesus. It's in my heart. I love my family. It's in my heart. But they know I love Jesus. It's in my heart. And the reason that I do it, it's in my heart. No, the reason that I do it, it's in my heart. It's in my heart. God today, who is the author and finisher of our faith. God is good, isn't he? And there's a saying that I like to say, God is not just good, but he's mmm, mmm, mmm good. For the Bible says, taste and see. Uh, yeah. I can't do it for you, you can't do it for me. You have to taste for yourself. Taste and see. That the Lord, He is. He is good. And He's worthy of all the praise. I love Him. I exalt Him. We extol Him. We worship Him. We bow down to Him. We give Him glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There's nobody like Jesus. We thank God for your pastor today, Pastor Yoga. God bless you. We thank you. For him and his lovely wife, Lady Yarborough, God is good. I was talking to the pastor in his office. I said, well, you've even invited me back for one or two reasons. <laughs> one, because uh, either I messed up and you invited me back to give me another chance to get it right, or because you just love me. <laughs> and I think you just love me. I feel the love here at this church. I thank God for you. Thank God for Sister Pat Davis who invited us. We thank God for you and the wonderful work that you're doing on this side of the vineyard. God bless you and we pray that the women's ministry will prosper and bloom even the more. Thank God for, I believe it's Mother Rebecca who gave the welcome. What's your the mother, Rachel. Sister Rachel. I knew it was Rachel or Rebecca, one of those names. <laughs> I tried to remember. Thank God for that beautiful welcome, Mother. Thank you. We love you and we keep praying for you. Amen. Thank the Lord for Sister Millicent and that introduction. I said, Lord, she's singing the song I was getting ready to sing. It's in my heart. But that's all right. You did a good job. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for that introduction. Thank God for my armor bearer, Deaconess Johnson. 
and it's good to see my niece who is the president of the First Lady Committee at my church, Amen. Sister Joy. And for all of you, all of God's people, I'm not going to prolong the service, but there is a word from the Lord. Amen. I ask that you would bow your head in a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. Thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercies. Lord, we don't take this opportunity for granted, but we thank you and we humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God. God, we ask that you would use us to your glory in the name of Jesus. Have your way in this place. In the name of Jesus, save somebody, deliver somebody, set somebody free. In the name of Jesus. God, we will give you all glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And thank God. Hallelujah. It's always a pleasure to see Sister Bree. We love you. All right, if you will, turn with me in your Bibles to Psalm 34, verses 17 through 19. Psalm 34, verses 17 through 19. With the permission of your pastor, we ask that you would stand as we give reference to the reading of God's word. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says, the righteous cry, and the Lord hear, and deliver them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivereth him out of them all. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We also give honor to our pastor, my husband, Pastor Pearson, in his absence. Hallelujah. I like to preach from the subject, a God who delivers on time. A God who delivers on time. The New International Version reads as, the righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. Say all. all. Their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Anybody in here ever been crushed? Yeah. 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 He saves those who are crushed in spirit. For the righteous person may have many troubles. Yeah, just because we're saved, that doesn't mean we're exempt from troubles. The righteous person may have many troubles, but Ah, thank God for the conjunction. But the Lord delivers him from the law. Yeah. Yeah. We, we're going to have some troubles. Yeah, but we're going to come out. Look at somebody say, I'm going to come out of this. Yeah, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God will deliver. God, he delivers on time. Songwriter writes pen once in this song, you can't hurry God. Yeah. No, you just have to wait. Right. We've got to trust and give him time. Amen. No matter how long it takes. Amen. For he is a God, you can't hurry. Right. But the good news is, he'll be there. Uh -huh. Don't worry. Right. For he may not come when you want him. Right. He may not come when I but one thing about it, he's always on time. Yeah, yeah. In this sermon, I would like to share with you how God will deliver you. How God will deliver you. You. I'm talking about you. Yeah, you, 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 you. You. I'm talking about how God will deliver you. Me. Yeah, yeah. How, how he will deliver us. How God will deliver us from all our troubles. He 
will deliver us on time. Amen. The historical background of this Psalm 34 is found in the 21st chapter of 1 Samuel. In his flight from Saul, David went to a place called Nob to Ahimelech the priest. There he receives bread from the altar and the sword of Goliath. I'm talking about the David who killed Goliath. He now picks up his sword. David picked up Goliath's sword. And he picks up a piece of bread. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. He then seeks refuge after picking up the sword of Goliath. This is the weapon that he used to kill Goliath in the valley of Elah. Saul gets word that David is with Ahimelech, so David leaves Nob. Isn't it funny how people will pick at you and nag on you and you try to leave them, but they will find you where you are? Yeah. This message may not be for everyone, but it is definitely for someone. Yeah. Yeah. The devil knows how to get under your skin. Am I talking to anybody in here today? He, he knows. So, so Saul finds out where David is, and so he goes there because he wants to kill him. You do know the devil wants to kill, steal, and destroy right. from all of us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so Saul goes where David is. So then David, he seeks refuge with the Philistine king of Gath, whose name was Achish. But the servants of Achish said to him, to the king, said, isn't this David? Isn't this David the king of the land? Isn't, isn't he the one that they sing about and dance about? Saul kills his thousands, but David kills his tens of thousands. Isn't he the man? Isn't he the one? Yeah. Yeah. You, know, isn't, you know, when you live right and do right for God, you have a reputation. People not, may not want to admit it, but they know when the hand of God is on your life. Yeah. They try to look over you and act like you don't exist. But when they need prayer, you're the first one they call. You know, amen. amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, people know how to find you. Yes, they, do. Yeah. they try to act like you're nobody, but they know. Yeah, yeah. So he said, Isn't this the one? Isn't this the David? So Saul has slain his thousands, and David his ten thousand, fearing that the enemy might kill him. David pretended to be crazy. Yeah, he, he pretended like he lost his mind by making marks on the doors and the gates and, and letting saliva drool down his beard. You know, sometimes we just have to act crazy. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, how, how folk will come and approach you and always mess with you, just act crazy. Act a little crazy in Christ. You know, people say, you know what, they're crazy. You better leave them alone. They're crazy. They will go off. You do not want to mess with her. You do not want to mess with her. They're crazy. So David acts crazy. So the king says, you know what? I got enough crazy folk around me. Yeah. I don't need no more crazy folk. Let, let this man go. Just, just let, let, let David go. So his craziness worked. David, who then escapes to the cave of Adullam. Yeah, yeah, David looks back on his experiences as, as dramatic deliverance by the Lord. And so he begins to write the song to celebrate it. Yeah. Right in the cave of a villain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, David begins to write. He says, I will bless the Lord uh -huh. yeah. at all times. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I, I will bless him and his praise yeah. shall continually. Uh -huh. I know the devil wants to shut me up. I, want it, I know he wants me to be quiet. You know, the devil wants you to be quiet, but you need to say, I will. Bless the Lord. Yes, sir. At all times. And his praise shall continually be in my I know I'm going through hell, but I will. Bless the Lord. I know I have pain, but I will. Bless the Lord. I got a bad diagnosis, but I will. 
Lord. Yes, at all times. Yeah. And his praise yeah. shall continually be in my mouth. Every time we think about what the Lord has done for us, we ought to give him a praise. Yeah. 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 And be enthusiastic about it. Yeah. Yeah. David said, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Somebody say glory. So we did all the sinning. We, we did. We did. We, we did. Let's just tell the truth and shame the devil. We did all the sinning. And Christ did all the saving. So we ought to boast about what he has done. Brag on him. Brag on Jesus and tell the world what he did. What he's doing and what he will do. Yeah. Tell somebody, God ain't finished with me yet. Yeah. He's not finished with me yet. If you're threatened today, you wait till tomorrow. You haven't seen nothing yet. God is not finished. Hmm. Yes. He says, oh, magnify the Lord with me. In other words, when you magnify something, you blow it up. You make it bigger. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Our great God is so great. I need somebody to help me. Yeah, magnify his name. Will somebody help me? Say thank you, Jesus. Will somebody help me? Say glory to God. Will somebody help me? Say I love you, Jesus. Will somebody help me? Say I worship you. Magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. For I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. Yes, the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him. The Lord Jesus Christ himself serves as an encircling garrison to those who fear him. Yeah. In other words, he's round about us. He's circling us. He's delivering us from danger, seen and unseen. That's why the accident didn't kill you. That's, right. All right. That's why the heart attack didn't All take right. you out. Yeah. That's why the stroke didn't kill you. Yeah. Because God oh, is a garrison around us. Yeah. Yes, sir. He's encircling us. Yeah. Yeah. You're looking at somebody who had three TIAs, trans-systemic attacks. Three mini strokes. Yeah. Yeah. But look at me. Oh, yeah. God, come on. God, circle around yeah. me. Yeah. Said, not so. She still got work to do. Devil, you can't take her out. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. That's why you still here today. Yeah. Because God said no. no. Told death to back up. Yeah. Yeah. Death thought he was going to get you. He thought he was going to take us out. But God said, back it up. Back, I said, I said, back up. Yeah, we're covered by the blood of Jesus. Yeah, yes, sir. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He round about us. Yes, he is. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He says, I give you eternal life. Yes, and they shall never perish. For no one can pluck them out of my hands. Y'all know we, we're in the hands of God. You do know you're in God's hands. Amen. Look, and God said, you're in my hands. Mm -hmm. Can't nobody pluck you out. Okay. Because we're sealed yeah. to the day of redemption. Yeah. Somebody say glory. glory. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. Oh, fear the Lord, his saints. For there is no want to them that fear him. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank the young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall never want. Yeah. For any good thing. Are you seeking him? Yeah. Are you looking for him? Yeah. Are you tarrying? Are you praying? Are you fasting? Are you turning your plates down? Yeah. Are you praying for one another? Yeah. Or are we talking about one another? Yeah. Yeah. Time to come together and depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Yeah. I'm going to leave three points with you, and then I'm going to take my seat. <laughs> Point one, God will deliver you through prayer. Yes. God will deliver you 
through prayer. Yes, Lord. Verse 17 says, the righteous cry, and the Lord hear, and delivereth him out of all their troubles. When was the last time you cried out to God? I don't mean, uh, now lay me down to sleep, pray Lord, I'm so keep. I don't mean that. When was the last time you really cried out? When was the last time you lay prostrate and talked to God and waited for God to talk back to you? Yeah. Yes, Lord. The righteous cry and the Lord hears. See, we too worried about what this one's saying and what that one is saying and what this one is hearing and what they talk. No, the Lord. As long as God is hearing what you're praying, that's all we need to worry about. For the Lord hears the cries of the righteous. I'm not making it up. That's the word. And he says, he delivers them out of them all. The Lord is attentive to our prayers. We as born again believers are privileged with an instant audience with the Lord. Can you imagine that? The audience. When we're praying, our audience is the Lord. Amen. He hears us yes. every time we cry out to him. Yes. He hears us. Yes. And he delivers us yes. out of all our troubles. All right. yes. Somebody see it, yes. yes. Lord. See it. Yes. Yes. See it. He hears and delivers us out of all our troubles. Yes. The Lord does not deliver us from trouble. No. But he delivers us out of trouble. Not from trouble, but out of trouble. What are you saying, preacher? I'm only trying to let you know that we are going to have troubles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have troubles, but the Lord will deliver us out of all of our troubles. As believers, we will have our share of troubles. Oh, yes, we will, but the good news is that we have a mighty deliverer. Uh, that's the difference. Uh, somebody say yes, Lord. Uh, say yes. Yes. Uh, For first dawn, 514 says, uh, this is the confidence uh, that we have in approaching God. Uh, if we ask anything uh, according to his will, uh, he hears us. Uh, somebody say yes. Uh, and if we know uh, that he hears us, uh, whatever we ask, uh, I said, whatever, whatever we ask, see yes, Lord, whatever, 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 thank you, Pastor, whatever we ask, thank you, Jesus, whatever, can I have a little more volume, whatever we ask, in the name of Jesus, we will have it, see yes, we know that we have whatever we ask, as long as we ask, in the name of Jesus, according to his will. See See Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, Paul. What you have to say? Well, Romans 8.26 says, The Spirit helps us in our weaknesses. See See us, Lord. It does not matter how strong we may think we are. It does not matter how mighty we may think we are. All of us have some weaknesses. See yes, Lord. But the good news is, if the Spirit helps us in all of our weaknesses, see, yeah, we do not know what we ought to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes. Somebody see, yeah. See, yes, Lord. We can be praying. Come here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Can I do, um, do, illustrate uh, what I'm talking about? Come on down here for one second. Hallelujah. You know how we get to praying. Thank you, Jesus. Dignity Johnson, she's praying. She's praying, crying out all she know how. All she know. Calling on the Lord. Asking for deliverance. Asking him to make a way. Asking him to heal. But one thing about it, she gets to a point where she's prayed all she can. And the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit will intercede. Say, wait a minute. I'm going to pray for you with groanings that cannot be uttered. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. 
from Ebony, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Lord, Abdul, Jonah, Michael, Nehemiah, Rebecca, 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 Rebecca,
when he told his father, Father, remove this cup, but nevertheless, not my will, but your will. Yeah. Your will yeah. be done. I'll go, I'll go, I'll take on their sins. Yeah. He took on your sins. Yeah. He took on my sins. Yeah. You know what we thought we was big enough and bad enough to do. We did what we wanted to do, when we wanted to do it, how we wanted to do it, with whoever we wanted to do it. Y'all ain't talking back to me. Oh, Hallelujah. But Jesus, even though we were doing everything, he still said, I love them. I'll take on this. I'll take their place. So the least we can do is serve him. The least we can do is worship him. The least we can do is be there for him. The least we can do is spread the gospel. The least we can do is tell dying men and women everywhere that we have a savior, a risen savior. He died.
our hands. We got to get a connection here. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless his name. I will be with you. I will be with you. I will be with you if you will only trust me. Trust me. Trust me. I'll fight your battle. I'll fight. Your battle, I'll fight your battle, if you will only trust me, trust me, that's what Jesus is saying, trust me, I'll never I'll never leave you. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'll never leave you if you will only trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Father, in the name Jesus. Lord, we come to say thank you. Thank you for your word, God. God, we know that you are God who will show up on time. That's right. Thank you, Lord. God, I ask right now that you would forgive us for all of our sins, transgressions, and iniquities. Yes. Anything that we've done that's displeasing in your sight, forgive yes. us, Lord. Please. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, God. Hallelujah. God, we ask that you would bless the under-shepherd of this church, yes. Yes. Pastor Yarborough, yes. and his beautiful wife. Bless them, God. Bless their family. God, he's on the, the mountaintop preaching your word, Father, that's right. that's right. to your people. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, give him more revelation knowledge. In the name of Jesus. And then God, don't let his word fall on a stony heart, but a heart of flesh. Yes, In the name of Jesus. As he leads your people from earth to glory, continue to bless him. The officers of this church who stand around him and hold his arms up, Father. In the name of Jesus, continue to bless and keep them. All the mothers, the sisters, everyone under the sound of my voice. Everyone standing around this altar, God, you know what they need in the name of Jesus. You know, you know, you know, you know, God, what everyone needs. You know what we need. So, God, you said you would supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory. If it be your will, in the name of Jesus, God, turn it around. Touch somebody's body. Somebody's sick in the body. Heal, God. Somebody have a broken heart, heal God. Somebody's marriage is not right, heal God. Somebody is suffering with disease, heal God. Somebody got a bad di diagnosis from the doctor, heal God. Somebody just feel like they're not needed, heal God. Somebody feels like they're not wanted, heal God. Bring us together, make us one. Make us one as you and your father are one. In the name of Jesus, God, come bind us together in love. Bind us together in joy. Bind us together in peace. Bind us together in happiness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, have your way. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, have your way. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. Look on my husband and pastor. In the name of Jesus, Pastor Pearson, bless him, God. Build him up. In the name of Jesus, encourage his heart, encourage his mind. In the name of Jesus, bless the officers of St. John. Bless the members of St. John. God, work it out. Make us one in the name of Jesus. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. He's about confusion, but we blind him. We bind it up in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over every 
every situation. We plead the blood of Jesus over every lie. We plead the blood of Jesus over every backbiter. We plead the blood of Jesus over those who call the, the, the sore discord. We plead the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. And we give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We thank you, God, for grace. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, thank you for giving us another chance to get it right. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the only name that matters. Jesus. Your name is the only name that matters. Jesus. 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 We need you. We need you, Lord. Don't leave us. Don't leave us alone. In the name of Jesus. We thank you. We praise you. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the Holy Ghost uh, dwelling on the inside. Thank you, Jesus. God, we ask that you would continue to bless each and every one. Bless us today. Just thank you, God, for our friendship. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Continue to open doors for her and make ways for her. Bless the women's ministry. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus over everything. For the blood still works. Yeah. Yes, Lord. We thank you. This is our prayer. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Put your hands together and give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may go back to your seat. Hallelujah. Is there someone that desires to be saved? Somebody that has not received the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? You can come now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Praise him. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. And it ain't a thing you can do about it. God bless you.
Amen. So I came and I stood in the gap. Amen. Yes. I stood in the line. Yes. Because I know prayer reaches. Yes. 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 yes, it does. He knows my heart. Yes. Yes. God is good. You know You know already. You know. What he can do. Amen. Yes. I know what he can do. Yes. I'm a witness. Yes. Ten years. Yes. And I'm gonna let y'all know, mess, for 10, 15, 20 more. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. I ain't stopping. Right. Because I know. All right. I'm asking. I know. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And if I don't, you know. If I don't, yes. I'm still not worried. That's right. Because right. right. I'm prepared for oh, a place for me. Yes. Yes. Because you know. And when they fixed it, they fixed it so that I could love yes. right. Come on. Yes. Right. So I could treat everybody Come right. Yes. So they took away a lot of the stuff that was dragging me down. I don't have those feelings now. So I thank God. I thank God for your word. I thank God that he's an awesome God. I thank him. And I can't say it enough. Take care of yourself. Take care yeah. of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Amen. 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 Now on here, mm. I got the blood still works. Amen. 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 Oh, yeah. I got some singers out here. Oh, yeah. Amen, oh, yeah. Sister Kim. Yeah. I got some singers. Sister <laughs> Brother Al, Sister Reese. Sing that song. I got some singers. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We don't need no music. Harmony is in the voice. Amen. It's in the patting of your feet. That's right. Come on, come on. And it's in the tapping of I mean, the clapping of your hands. That's right. So we're going to do this song. We're going to do this song. Amen. 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 The blood still works. Amen. Amen. It's going to be all of us. All right. Go ahead. Blood still works. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 right. yeah. 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 Everybody hey. put your hands in.
Amen? Amen. Amen. Not like we used to, you were holding. What we're going to do is look, if we got to take up an offering, we're going to hold it, we're going to have a basket. Amen.